The sky is no longer the limit. Toyota has been cooking something in their lab which could leave all the car makers behind. Remember those awesome flying cars from Blade Runner, The Fifth Element, or Back to the Future? Have you ever daydreamed about soaring above the gridlocked streets, feeling the wind in your hair while cruising through the skies? Or perhaps you're just tired of the usual boring driving experience and want to take things to a whole new level. Well, my friends, buckle up, because Toyota has got some big plans ahead. Introducing Toyota's new flying car. Toyota's now heavily investing in urban air mobility, which according to Morgan Stanley, would be a 1.5 trillion, yes, that's trillion with a capital T, industry by the next two decades. The Japanese car maker has partnered with two multi-million dollar startups and has invested more than $300 million into this new project. If Toyota pulls this off, the car industry will never be the same again. In this video, we'll be uncovering details about their new flying car and tell you all about Toyota's future plans. So stick till the end and hit that like button. Now let's dive in. Joby Aviation, a California-based company which has been working on an air taxi shuttle, caught the eyes of the giant car maker first in 2020. Since then, both the companies have been working together closely. After years of hard work, they are finally nearing the mass production stage of passenger EV tolls. Back in 2018, this startup announced $100 million in funding, backed by some big names like Intel, JetBlue, and Toyota. Later in 2020, Toyota put in an additional $394 million to fast-track production. This also allowed the Japanese carmaker to get a minority stake in the EV toll company. Under a new long-term agreement, Toyota will supply Joby with key powertrain and actuation components vital to the production of its EV tolls. Toyota Motor Corporation Connected Company President Keiji Yamamoto spoke to the latest agreement with Joby Aviation. We are very pleased to have reached this milestone with our key partner. Our mutual goal is mass production of EV toll and helping Joby apply the best practices of the Toyota production system in meeting high quality, reliability, safety, and strict cost standards. We are excited about the potential for further collaboration as we seek to realize mobility for all with a seamlessly integrated air-to-ground mobility network. The main EV toll components will be designed by Joby and manufactured by Toyota. Those parts will then be shipped to Joby's powertrain and electronics facility in San Carlos, California for final assembly before shipping to the aviation company's pilot production line in Marina for EV toll integration. But before we dive into more details about these upcoming flying cars, let's go back to where it all began. Attempts at flying cars over the years. Let's start with the early days, when the dream of flying cars was just a glimmer in the eyes of ambitious inventors. The first prototypes appeared in the early 20th century, but they were mostly limited by the technology of the time. In 1917, we saw the Curtis Autoplane, Glenn Curtis, a pioneer in American aviation, created the first flying car prototype called the Curtis Autoplane. It featured a three-wing aircraft design with an aluminum body and a four-bladed propeller mounted behind the passenger compartment. You could say it was the original winging it attempt. The Autoplane never progressed beyond the hop stage and the project was abandoned. Then came the Convair car in 1947. This was a hybrid car airplane that could transform from a road vehicle into a flying machine by attaching a wing and a tail section. This bad boy was ready to fly, right out of a sci-fi movie. It featured a pusher propeller and the pilot controlled the aircraft from the driver's seat, making multitasking a whole new ball game. Although the Convair car completed a successful flight test, the project was abandoned due to high production costs and a lack of market interest. Sky High Dreams down-to-earth reality. After this, in 1956, we saw Taylor Aero Car. This had a top speed of 120 miles per hour in the air and 60 miles per hour on the ground, basically making it the mullet of transportation. Despite receiving FAA certification, the Aero Car failed to attract enough buyers to make mass production viable, and only six units were ever built. Then came 1989, the Sky Commuter. The Sky Commuter was a prototype vertical takeoff and landing aircraft designed by Boeing engineers. It featured three ducted fans and a sleek, futuristic design. The lack of popularity of these flying car attempts can generally be attributed to factors such as high production costs, limited market interest, regulatory hurdles, technical challenges, and the need for specialized skills to operate such vehicles. 
But now companies like Boeing, Airbus, Uber, and Toyota are starting to heavily invest in this domain to accelerate further growth. This was largely made possible due to the promising prototypes of two startups, both of which are heavily funded by Toyota. And while Toyota is generally quite hush-hush about this topic, we've gathered all the details for you, so a sub to the channel would be most epic. Let's get into it. Toyota's Top Secret Investment Toyota's partnership with Joby Aviation has been a significant boost for the flying car industry. Joby Aviation is an American startup that's been working on a revolutionary electric air taxi since its founding in 2009. Toyota has invested a whopping $394 million in Joby, bringing the company's total funding to over $700 million. So what makes Joby Aviation's air taxi so special? The Joby EV Toll aircraft is designed to be a four-passenger vehicle plus a pilot that can travel up to 150 miles on a single charge. With its six electric motors, the Joby EV Toll boasts a top speed of 200 miles per hour. The aircraft's unique tilt rotor design allows for vertical takeoff and landing, making it ideal for urban environments. Additionally, the Joby EV Toll has been engineered for minimal noise, ensuring that it won't be a nuisance to city dwellers below. Joby Aviation's progress has been remarkable, and the company has already conducted more than 1,000 test flights. In December 2020, they announced a partnership with Uber to further develop their air taxi service, and they've struck a deal with the U.S. Air Force to explore military applications. Despite these successes, Joby Aviation has yet to bring their flying cars to the mainstream market. Experts predict that it could take another 5 to 10 years before we see widespread adoption of this technology. One notable advantage of these flying vehicles is their quiet operation, claiming to be 100 times quieter than conventional aircraft during takeoff and landing. Reducing noise pollution could be a game changer for urban living. However, city dwellers might be more concerned about their safety than noise, as the idea of an aircraft crashing is fundamentally more terrifying than road traffic accidents. On the other side of the world, Toyota has invested in SkyDrive, a Japanese startup focused on developing flying cars. Founded in 2018, SkyDrive has been making waves in the industry with its futuristic-looking single-seat EV toll vehicle, the SD03. The SD03 features a sleek, compact design measuring just 13 feet long and 6.5 feet wide. It's equipped with eight electric motors that power its four pairs of rotors. These rotors are strategically placed around the vehicle to ensure maximum stability and control during flight. With a top speed of 62 miles per hour, the SD03 is primarily intended for short distance urban transportation. SkyDrive has made significant progress with the SD03. In August 2020, they conducted a successful manned test flight, showcasing the vehicle's potential for practical use. The company has ambitious plans, aiming to launch a commercial air taxi service by 2023 and make flying cars available for personal use by 2028. While Toyota's investments in Joby Aviation and SkyDrive are undoubtedly a step in the right direction, there's still a long way to go before flying cars become a common sight in our skies. Regulatory frameworks, infrastructure development, and public acceptance all need to be addressed for this technology to truly take off. To operate a flying car, not only would you need to have a lot of air experience under your belt, but you also need to get a pilot's license, which is no easy feat. Then consider the traffic and regulations. We already have many speedrunners in America. What would happen if we got more up there in the sky and a giant flying car falls upon your head? Flying cars would need a completely new set of rules for air traffic control, as well as guidelines for their use in urban environments. Traditional air traffic control systems are not designed to handle the volume of traffic that flying cars would generate, especially in densely populated areas. To overcome these issues, Toyota also plans to build various VTOL facilities where these cars would land. Now, with all that said, there are some key takeaways from this. While we agree that no matter how silly or futuristic, as some would say, these cars look, there's no denying that a flying vehicle would be cool. Really cool. But then Toyota should tread lightly and examine the practicality of what they're offering. Joby claims the aircraft will do 200 miles per hour with a range of 150 miles, which is just not possible given the state of the battery tech present. On top of this, building billion-dollar EV toll centers across cities is also something that could take a while. Uh, we're guessing at least five years. Do you think flying cars are the future? 
Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such content.